for Hello, a Hello, neighbors. This is Unit SP02, and I'm playing some more Black Ops 2 on Xbox. Um, this gameplay here today, it's, it's a bit, it's a comeback. It's a comeback. I'm, in this game, I'm playing um, a mate that's back in the UK while I'm in America, hence why I've changed from single fire to, uh, to submachine gunners. The hit detection in a couple of games weren't the greatest. Um, this is definitely a comeback game. I think I start with a 0 and 4, so... <laughs> Yeah, this is uh, just just a mixing it up and uh, showing that things can get better when you start off with a very shit game, um, especially when your team. Um, I'm currently I was playing one party, but he left, and I was like, no, I am not rage quitting. I'm gonna pursue and I'm gonna be victorious. But um, yeah, you'll see how it plays out anyway. But why I'm actually recording this gameplay is I'm bringing some facts. Well, facts. I'm bringing you some information about the game, there's a few changes, yeah, yeah before you say it, I know, I'm actually giving some information about the game, this is not really what I usually generally do on videos, but I've seen a couple of videos floating around YouTube, uh, etc like that, so there's only really passing on information that's been discovered by others, obviously. Um, they have recently given some updates on the game, they've changed a few little bits and bobs, which I haven't um, seen much effect yet, but... Um, I'm going to test them out and see if they actually if they actually make a bit of difference. For example, like on some of the kill streaks now, I don't know about you, but I know it's, it's constant UAV spamming. There is always UAVs. I use UAVs predominantly a shed load of fuckers. Go around and use a lot of them. I don't know why I want to in there, boy. Yeah. But uh, he's, he's blatantly not playing that guy. But uh, yeah, so what they've done, UAVs, it's now... <laughs> It's dead! It's now, it takes 425 points as opposed to 350 to get the UAV. So basically that, in quite a lot of game modes, it's one, one and a half kills, or kill confirmed for this example, it would be kill and the tag, just to get the UAV, so that may reduce some of the spamming. Another one that they've, uh, they've nerfed is the lightning strike. I don't know about you, but I've noticed that thing to be boostly, especially on the old smaller maps. You get it for, for you know, quad feed or even a trip quite comfortably with that but now what they've done is from the point of when you select the red circles on the area of the map you want to pursue it will take a additional time i think it's seven, there's a 750 millisecond delay from setting the going off so now you basically just have to predict a little bit more where people are going to be running so that's basically what they've done in the kill streaks equipment they finally nerfed that stupid bouncing bay I'd, I'd tell you, the amount of times I've been killed by that freaking part of equipment, but um, now they've put a 200 millisecond delay, so it gives you more time to drop when you hear that <laughs> stupid noise. That's good. They've actually um, buffed the sensor. So now, sad guy shooting that, sorry. Um, so now they've they've increased the range to 1,000, and there's an 800 millisecond between ping, so basically every time it scans the map, it's going to be quicker, and it'll give you a bigger range, and it lasts for, I think, six seconds now. So they've increased that. They've nerfed the concussion a little bit. It just basically means your movement won't be um, as affected, so you can move a little bit quicker. Uh, now going to the tasty bits, the weaponry, yes. Um, they've nerfed, they've made quite a few different changes, obviously we anticipated most of this, but the submachine guns, the, they've increased the hip fire spread with all of them. Um, I should, well, I, mean, I, think, I, yeah, I think it's predominantly with all of them um, on hip fire, but they've also increased the recoil on the MSMC and the, sadly in this video the PDW as well, so they've increased, increased the recoil. Um, snipers, they've increased hip fire spread, so you can't freaking a lot of people that go around just hip fire the entire time. That will be less less feasible to do, which is obviously I'm not much of a sniper man, so it doesn't affect me per, per se. And if I use a sniper, I definitely don't freaking run around and fire off the hip. I ain't, ain't that skillful to be perfectly honest. Um, with assault rifles. They've buffed them a little bit, which I think was necessary. Um, they, it's reducing idle sway, so you can aim down, if you're aiming down the map, you'll notice there'll be less sway within your, when your radius, etc. So that'll improve all the assault rifles. They have nerfed the select fire. Now, for example, when you, in my previous video, I said that the foul with the select fire is pretty beastly, which it was. They've now increased the recoil when you have the select fire feature. 
So it less spamming basically. You have to actually accommodate for because I didn't even see that guy. That was pretty bad. But uh, so I keep flicking in between talking about the gameplay and talking about um, the information I've got. But oh fuck it, that's me. <laughs> uh, so yeah, assault rifles they've been taken down. Um, so select fire. And I think on all the burst fires and the single shot, I think it's predominantly where the select fire obviously will matter obviously, if you're coming from an, ass an assault run like a fully automatic and reducing it the recoil would always be improved but it's only if you're going to change a single fire or a burst to a fully automatic that it takes precedent shotguns yes i didn't think they need to do anything with the shotguns personally i thought the shotties were pretty decent uh what they've done on the r870 which is the one i use typical um they have decreased reduced the one hit kill by I think a couple of feet so now you'll notice some of the more ranged some of the more ranged one, sh one hit kills you're getting previously you may, you may need a couple look at this I'm just fucking spanking their spawn and I got killed by a concussion it looked like that's depressing um, yeah so that's pretty much all of the the nerfs and bits and bobs that they've done on the game so we'll see how they actually no wait wait I tell a lie sorry sorry just looking at my notes here yeah, I made a couple of notes on this one. It's the first time I've actually done anything worth <laughs> worth talking about, so I had to made a few bullet points. They've also nerfed the pistols, which <laughs> I think was probably necessary because that B23R burst fire, you could run around that as a bloody assault rifle. That thing was ridiculous. What they've done on that and the Cap 40 is they reduced the, um, the headshot pluses. So from now, the headshot multiplier would be the technical term. Um, so it was at 1.4, it's now been reduced to 1, so you may may take a couple of extra bullets, just to, well, not ideally, not not many, but it may take a couple of extra hits just to, to put someone down with that. Um, and that's pretty much all the ones I've got listed anyway that I've seen or heard about, so uh, if you guys got any more, feel free to chuck it in the comments. Um, that but there is one other thing I want to talk about, and this gameplay is a prime example of it. Um, I played predominantly solo. I mean, I was playing with a man in this game. Uh, it was just two of us, but because he was from the UK, I mean, it was just awful. <laughs> I think he was playing one bar, which this game, um, if you're running on two bar, you, it's, it's freaking unplayable. It makes such a big difference. Three bar, you can, you can get away with it on three bar. It's not too bad. But, yeah, anything lo less than that, and it becomes insanely difficult um, so this game I go quite I'm rushing I'm, this is the way I play I rush and uh, I think I get 37 confirms and over 50 kills and my team lost uh, it's so infuriating when you when you're doing that and uh, it makes such a big difference I think for winning for like purely winning games playing in parties makes such a big difference as you'll notice by here, I go, I go pretty beastly, and freaking the game stays tight all the way through, which I don't mind. I like tight games, but like when you're getting like pretty much close to half kill confirms on a team of six, and you lose the game, it's sour grapes, man, sour fucking grapes. Um, anyway, I'll leave on that note. I've said all I wanted to say, so um, hopefully enjoy the rest of the gameplay. Like, subscribe, all the rest of it. And uh, I'll catch you next time. Take it easy. Kill confirmed. We've taken the lead. Mission almost complete. Don't do it now. Sentry gun ready for deployment. Kill confirmed. Kill confirmed. Hostile counter UAV above. Radars down. Be advised, hostile UAV incoming. Stealth chopper on standby. Stealth chopper inbound. Dog on.